All right, then. Let's have a look. Uh, hopefully no one died. Nope, no one appears to have died. Also, some more plastic. That's always nice. Wine, cider, honey. Uh, uh, honey is, is, is sort of sort of there, but not, not really. It's not actually honey. Balal was fairly close to begin with. Uh, before I, I stepped away. It means a, a, a little bit more... A little bit more refinement on his gas. Let's go ahead and remove those. And then stretch this out to connect. There we go. And we want another smart battery just down here. That way we can control this area. And when we get, uh, get an injection of power from the main grid. Right, I want this to pretty much run... Once it's as low as 15%, uh, and to stop running when it is up to, let's say, 90%. Ah, damn it. 90. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll up that to 25. So I would like this one to kick in when it gets lower than 25, so once it's below 20. Honey and Jack Daniels, no, not Honey and Jack Daniels, but it is a sweet whiskey. Kind of. I mean, you know, the, the, it, it's hardly it's hardly a wild card if every time the, 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 the vote is exactly the same, I just go and get a whiskey. But it is a sort of whiskey. It's different enough that I am wondering if, you, if you're going to guess. What time zone am I in? I am in the British time zone, but realistically, I'm I'm judging off the the base or uh, the basis of how long I've been up for. This is very much my night time, based on that. Okay, all right. It's a whiskey. Then I am. I have no idea. I'm alcohol illiterate. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I wouldn't say it was illiterate either way, but. It is a whiskey liqueur. It is Loch Finn. It's a chocolate orange whiskey liqueur. It's actually really, really nice. Right, now that we know where all of that is going to be, it's all hooked up correctly. Yeah, it's just a matter now of bringing over some water. So, we need to select the water that we're going to use. Now, currently, we have water coming out of this, this lower section here. And that does go in here. Anything that is not water gets gets uh, dumped. Now, realistically, at this point, we shouldn't ever see anything that isn't water going in there. So hopefully, we're past that problem. Uh, this water, I could split it, realistically. Because the water we've got here is kind of uh, used in multiple different ways. Uh, the further down the chain it goes, the higher the priority. So at the end of the chain, because of the way that I, I input into the reservoirs and then, then take out of them, uh, the, the further down the chain, the better. The, the closer to the beginning, the the lower the priority that that, that has. Um, realistically, it's going to be better if we take the water across this way. It just is, uh, in that one. Uh, we'll have it just go straight across like that. And we are going to remove all of this. There we go. Let's make sure all of that is happening at a reasonable speed. And then, we're going to want to take water over here. Now, we only need one full pipe of water. We'd only need one full pipe of water 
for, I believe, uh, two full spawns. So let me just d double check that, though. Yeah. We don't need one full pipe, but it has to be a full one. So with that, bring it down here. I could run this happily along. And this will be able to supply pretty much all of our oxygen needs. Oh, no star, Valorax. Sleep well, mate. Oh, that's drinking whiskey, and I'm trying to work out what to have for breakfast. The internet. <laughs> uh, chocolate whiskey? Where can I find this thing? Uh, well, this one in Scotland. <laughs> Specifically. Right, now with that done, can we actually get up to here? Yeah, we should be able to. They're five, so I'm not really sure. Well, it's taking a while, but hopefully we can get to it. As for the rest of this building work, it is an eight, though. Right, so with that in mind, I can still allow for the, the vent there. Having that, that little filter there, just means that if anything should have gotten down here by accident that shouldn't be there, it will be vented out. But realistically, it, it, there should be nothing here of that nature. So I'm disinclined to assume that it's going to be. Let's go for sandstone. We really don't need anything else. Good. We're not going to set this up until the system is ready to run. Because we will be shutting down our oxygen production if I did. And that would probably be a bad thing. Uh, we also need to make sure... I mean, everything that goes down the bottom is going to be oxygen. That's generally just the way it's going to be. Uh, so we need to deliver this oxygen. More than likely... Into... If I had it to, uh, put into, into tanks and then extracted from it with priorities. Um, and then with overflows. That that would that would give me an option of first making sure that the base is is, is taken care of and then dump the rest of it outside. Because again, I'm I'm largely doing this so that I can I can generate a load of, of spare gas. Um, so to that end how about we adjust the way we're doing this? We can have one down here, one down there, one down there. And at this point, uh, we could happily... Well, actually, let me cancel that. There's no reason to rebuild those pipes. Uh, we could happily have that go straight down, have that one come straight down, have this one go straight down. Oh, that is good. Uh, and then, unfortunately, scrub these. I know I was scrubbing a little bit of work we've already done. But with that done, each one of these tanks will get a dedicated line. And then the gas from these tanks... be given priority in different ways. So, for example, I could put a priority valve down here for all three. I can have a secondary um, priority, maybe somewhere like that, for all three. And then a tertiary 
one as well that would uh, bridge over in, in some meaningful way. But realistically, it's, it's mostly the having the, the secondary. Um, so to that end, probably going to do something like this. So there we go. And then this one will bridge over there. And then this one would go through there as well. And this way, we have three distinct overflows. I think that would actually work quite well. Uh, you know what? To make it a bit cleaner. Hmm. Without the bridge, I can't. I can't force it to have priority there. Uh, oh well, we'll just have to look at it. It's fine. Uh, so that gives me the three overflows, but they will give priority to this one line here. That one can be then sent uh, down here to feed the base. And I think that should be a reasonable way to handle this. Uh, we can run this. Mm. How do we want to run it? Um, perhaps I could take the first two, actually, and send them to the base. Because the main thing is just not to break the system that's already working. That would be the worst thing that could happen. Oh, this is such a such a mess in there. Uh, well, we're not going to need this overflow anymore, so I don't need to account for that. That one can go away. Uh, so, realistically, I just need to make sure that A, these are taken care of, B, all of the actual gas vents have have air in them. Which is, which is the highest priority? Probably... Probably the air for, for the actual living space. That being said, they spend more of their time out and about wandering around than, uh, than inside, so... Uh, Bit of a tricky one. Uh, okay, well, I've got plans within plans within plans. So now I just need to get the piping down there. So run that down to about here. And then it'll, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 not there, though. Uh, that'll do. And then run it up. That should give me everything I need right now. It'll at least give me the, the the system that I've currently got. So I lose nothing by having that built. Does whiskey at 8 a.m. count as breakfast? Uh, I mean, alcohol does have. I mean, it depends on how much you, how much fuel you need, I suppose. Uh, have you thought about making a big heat sink with the water pipes and an ice, uh, the ice plants, the the wheeze was? Probably not the best idea with his propensity for cooking his renewable source of supporting the wheeze was. I mean, what are you talking about? They're fine. I've got, I've got, uh, these ones, are, they're doing fine. They don't need any additional support. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Shattered Planet. A once habitable planet that has sustained massive damage. A powerful containment field prevents our rockets from traveling to its surface. Home. Shattered. So we're... Between 50,000 and 60,000 kilometers away from home. Or what's left of it. Wah, 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 wah. Ooh. Sweepy!
Ah. I've forgotten how to spell Louie. Is that right? L-O-U-I-E? We'll leave her as that for now. So, Huey, Dewey, and Louie's uh, dogs. Okay, there's nothing there that can that can reliably um, dig away the regolith that's building up there. So we are going to need more. Realistically, they're all as, as good as the other, though. Um, I am I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the uh, ladders at the very least. The ducks? Oh, I think yeah, I, I think you're thinking of a different reference. There are no no vaults of uh, money you can swim through in this particular tale. One hundred and forty three, not too bad. Power is overall doing okay. And it looks like we've just about run out of petroleum to run our petroleum generators on. So we are more than likely gonna switch over now to the uh, natural gas. How are we doing for petroleum down here, though? Ah, uh, reasonably. We've got a reasonable amount being uh, piped out. There we go. And once they are all running, then this should start charging up very, very quickly. All right, new principles, some more plastic, I accept. All right, the pipes are coming together re reasonably fast. But we do need them all done before we can move on to the next step. Uh, that being said, I want this done unreasonably fast. Okay, do it. Then I would like... Uh, Sure. Let's get rid of that as well. Tunk. That'll do. There we go. Alright. I just want to say that while I'm happy to have supported the developers by buying this game, I have neither the time nor the intellect to ever get this far in the game. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure you'd be able to... I, I make this massively overcomplicated. Don't look to the way that I'm playing as the way to play. I make this far more complicated than it needs to be. It can be a lot, lot easier. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. What direction are those pipes moving in? Uh, I'm fairly certain that's going the wrong way. No, no, it's not. Never mind. Tell the light. It's absolutely going the right way. We are fine. Once we have this set up, we are going to be so much better off. Not only just in the uh, in the power that we're sending down to the main, uh, sorry, the uh, oxygen we're sending to the main base, but also we'll be able to start 
siphoning it off for the uh, for the output gas up here. Actually, we should probably lay down the pipes for that already. Um, right now, that's the only only thing we would be using it for. If it's not going to the base, then we want it to go all the way over to uh, into the the waste gases. So I may as well lay that pipe in there. I'm going to keep them as separate lines until they reach this point, though. Just so that we can control... Uh, we still have the option to, to break that up later on. But these are the overflows for each, each one of these uh, containers. I will need to do something about the overflow for this one, though. I'm going to need to take that hydrogen elsewhere. Specifically down to the hydrogen generators that we are using to power the base. Uh, which realistically means I probably want another line coming down here. Which is a little bit less, less ideal. Uh, Alright. This one is a much lower priority though. Not even close to the same priority as the other one. I want this to be coming down like that. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about having this much gas moving around here, but I'm fine. I'll draw this along. Uh, you know what? Realistically... I could happily have this work in this direction. Because by doing this, I still give priority to the the hydrogen um, gas canister. But it will eventually dump... Anything that's not used in that will go to my hydrogen uh, generators. And that doesn't even necessarily break the system that we've currently got. It will eventually back up. Well, that's the main thing here, is we need to keep it from backing up, because the moment the hydrogen all the way backs up, it breaks the spawn. And you start getting hydrogen in your oxygen uh, hydrogen in your oxygen supply, which is funny for everyone but you. Not a good time. Not even slightly a good time. Can they not reach these? Oh, trying to make that pop out there. Yeah, they are. All right. Gold amalgam it is then. The fact I'm having to use gold amalgam for stuff like that is kind of painful, but oh well. Alright. I was wondering why I was taking an age. Build a gas compressor. No. I, I genuinely try to avoid the, the cheesy mechanics. That being said, it's not it's not like I don't sometimes use them myself, but uh, I, I guess it, it it comes down to... Um, like, for example, I, I might make... Uh, I, or rather have in the past made a, um, a timed feeder for Paku so that I can effectively have a breeding Paku by feeding it a fraction of the algae that I'm really meant to be feeding it. Whereas things like gas compressors and uh, other devices of a, of a similar ilk, 
I just find them... They're kind of like atom smashes into a fortress. I, I just I don't don't find them particularly fun. That's all. I feel that they they abuse a system that's in the game only to make the game playable, rather than uh, kind of think outside the box in a way that the devs never never imagined, but that it's kind of cool. If that makes sense. Maritin, hello, welcome. It's not cheating, lol. I mean, it depends on, on what you think. I, I mean, the game allows you to do it. Is it within the spirit of the game? Probably not, because the game already models pressure. It just so happens that gas, uh, the airflow tiles don't model pressure. But that isn't because they shouldn't. It's because the assumption is that because gas can move through them, they'll never... They, they they would never be a pressure buildup, so they they just flat out don't calculate pressure on those tiles. Not because they shouldn't, but because it's just, it was just assumed that it would never be an issue. So by abusing the the mechanics that allow those those tiles to be to have infinite pressure, for example, with liquid compression, I feel that that is an abuse of the spirit of the game. Not necessarily. The, the 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 code of the game but then what developer ever ever imagined that i mean i don't i i don't sit here lording over other people and tell them oh you play it wrong ha 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 i'm much better because i i you know play this game hard mode whatever you know i find that increasingly just dumb that kind of mindset it's like it's a single player game anyone can play it however they want i just choose not to play it that way because i find it you know, it's more interesting for me to find a solution that, that doesn't rely on mechanics that don't make sense. For example, with all of these. I pump out a little bit of gas to cool them off. I could just drop a, a bit of liquid on them with drywall behind it, knowing it would never it would never boil off, even though it should in a vacuum, and just run a, a liquid pipe behind it as a coolant. And that would be a million times easier than what I did. But I actually kind of like my sol solution because it, it makes sense. I'm pumping a little bit of gas out there. The gas grabs heat from the, the device and then drifts off into the cosmos with the heat with it. So it effectively gets deleted. There's just lots of different ways you can do it. An Atom Smasher in Dwarf Fortress is... Uh, effectively, you pile a bunch of stuff onto a single tile. Um, because in Dwarf Fortress, you, you, can, you can effectively make it so that you can just dump stupid amounts of items into a tiny space and then you just slam a bridge down on top of it. And for, for code reasons, probably around optimization and playability, when the bridge lowers, anything underneath it gets deleted. So if you've got a load of stone, just pile it underneath the bridge. Drop the drawbridge, lift the drawbridge, stone is gone. Problem solved. Well, that's 100% within the mechanics of the game. Is it within the... the it, you know, it, it's like rules lawyering versus actually acting within the spirit of the rules. It's not really the way that that was intended to work or, or how it was intended to be used. It does work, though. So, you know, if, if you want to, <laughs> crack on. But, uh, again, I'm very big on, on people playing the game the way they want to, though. And uh, I would never I would never tell someone that they were playing the game wrong or that their way was inferior or, or somehow, you know, lesser because it doesn't conform to some... Some kind of, you know, self-imposed honor code that I have for playing. Uh, no way. Alright. Are we finished with this? I think we have actually finished the whole the whole system. It does indeed look like it is ready. Okay. Well, this can charge then. And it'll stop at 50%. Let's hook these up. Bop. Like so. This should now start to charge up. Everything will start to work. Everything probably shouldn't, because I haven't swept everything out of there yet. I am such a duck. Let's get all of those things moved, and definitely let's tell this not to grab them all. Thunk. And yeah, gas compression is, is using pneumatic doors to effectively pump. Um... 
like you use a little bit of circuitry to time them so that when the, the pneumatic doors open and close, they effectively work like a pump, kind of like the way your heart works, honestly. But because of the way the game's code never expects you to do something like that, whereas even with a high pressure gas vent, you can't push more than 20 kilos of a gas into a space. This way you can put an infinite amount. You, you, could, you, could, you could have a, as high a number of kilograms as the game ha uses the variables to store that number. So you could probably have billions of kilograms of gas in one tile using that method, which is... The game does try to model a sort of... Uh, I, I don't want to allow people in, but I want to allow people out from now on. Uh, it does try to model a sort of pressure um, system. So when uh, you have over pressure behind a wall, it should crack the wall. Certain tiles are immune to that because the assumption is it's never going to be in a position. Like a tile that generally gas or liquid can move through doesn't even bother to check just to save on cycles. So people can use them like airflow tiles to trap uh, liquid and just put millions of liters of a liquid behind a single tile wall. Whereas really that should have just smashed that completely. And, and quite often, you know, the, the my kind of litmus test of if something is cheesy and, and not working as intended is if you break that system unexpectedly and it breaks your game which is quite often what will happen if you've got a liquid compression system and then something causes you to have to dig in there or something breaks it all of a sudden you flooded your map and it's like well if it was able to flood your map you shouldn't have been able to fit it into four tiles should you <laughs> but with that said we have a battle to get to